guys. A few years ago I bought myself a LED projector. Um, it's just cheap and cheap off of eBay, it cost about 30 or 40 quid. I bought it because in my old bedroom that I used to live, uh, where I used to live, there was no real space for a TV or a TV unit. So what I did was, I mounted this on the wall behind my bed and had it projecting at the bottom of my bed about an 80 inch screen. We've just taken it out of the cupboard because I've just found it and I've just turned it on to make sure it all still works. But what I found is, when you're projecting onto a wall, there's a load of black marks everywhere. At first I thought it was the external lens. Um, no, but I've cleaned all that off. But what I've noticed, inside, when you turn it on, there's a load of dirt and dust. That I've tried air dusting through the air holes, but either side and on the back, I haven't had much luck. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm going to show you how bad it is and then we're going to take it apart and see how bad it is to clean inside. The only thing that worries me is just the sheer amount of screws on the back side, of, well on the underneath of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 screws for something that's almost handheld, seems quite excessive. I'm hoping I don't have to take them all out but we'll have to see how we go. But I'm going to show you first how bad it is inside and then we're going to start taking it apart. So as you can see inside there, it's pretty grim. It's quite hard to show you how bad it is, but when you're playing it on the wall, it leaves black marks. Like there's dust everywhere. I've tried cleaning the outside lens, but the inside, it's just all in the inside. I think the, the way it works is the laser, see if I can focus, the, the, the light is from this side and it hits a mirror and comes out. And I think it's that mirror there that's covered in dust. So what we'll do is we're going to take it apart that, and see what we can do to kind of... Okay, right, so I haven't got um, any of my proper tools with me, they're elsewhere. So I've just got some cheap and cheerful screwdrivers and a tin, oh, let's go that way, of compressed air. One of them air dusters that you get from any good office shop. So what we do is we're going to start taking it apart now. Uh, right, start with start with the horrible ones first. Okay, there are one. I'm trying to use that. Let's keep my screws. Like I said, I'm not really fussed about this projector. It's it's served its purpose with what we needed it. We've moved into a new house now when we've got a proper TV in the bedroom. So it doesn't really have to do anything for us, but I've just thought, I'm intrigued really to see what's inside and how bad it can get. But I'm just hoping I don't have to take all these screws out. I'm gonna aim for the deep ones first because they because the split for the chassis is right at the bottom, so well at the top depending on which way you're holding it up. So I'm hoping I can just undo those because they all look pretty the same and there's only well, six of them so this is the fifth one what one haven't I done? That one. it's actually quite a good piece of equipment um, for the price you pay you, power, you can power it by the mains it's got HDMI, USB, SD card um, you can also though power it via oh God, that failed didn't it um, just by USB on its own you do struggle a bit with the brightness though when doing that um, so it is okay if it's very dark but to use it off of USB you do have to kind of be a bit careful of how um, how bright your room is so what I do is a ribbon cable, there's some cables there, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take off. I can see inside where it's really filthy. Um, maybe I'll show you. Just in this gap here, there's a mirror. In the, what I do is I'm going to get another camera and I will show you. Okay, so we're in handheld mode, so if I can zoom in, 
just in there. Have I got my phone on me? Yes. Hey, it's just in there, there's a mirror. See all that dust and horribleness? That's what's causing all my picture problems. So what I do is I'm going to take this apart and see what I can do about cleaning it. Okay, I don't really want to take it apart any more than I have to. I can see it's already really filthy inside. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm take this ribbon cable out. There's one, two, three, four screws that hold this top board on. So it is. Take those out. I'm hoping just by taking this top board out it gives me enough of space to be able to just get inside with an air duster or a normal duster to just give it a clean because it is a mirror like I thought it's it looks like the projector projects this way hits a mirror that's 45 degrees here and bounces it out the lens here at the front Okay, so that's the four screws. Uh, that lets me lift that off. Plug here, we can undo that. That's the internal speaker. Oh, okay, I might be alright here to take this whole board out. That must be to the fan. I'm not sure what that one's to. And there we go. Okay, so under here, I presume this is where our actual uh, projector is so yeah we're just going to have to keep on delving got another four screws there to be honest it's the first kind of time I've ever taken something like this apart so I don't really know what to expect I'm glad I didn't have to take all them screws out the bottom though I presume they just hold all these internals in there we go, so now hopefully that should lift off. Perfect, there we go, that's exactly where we need to be. Can I take this mirror out? Yeah. Okay, for a moment then, I thought I broke it. <laughs> no, it's actually designed to have its corner taken off. But as you can see, there you guys are. How filthy is that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna air dust the whole inside of this out, including the lens, which I don't think comes out, yeah, not without taking it all out. So I'm not going to touch that too much. But I'm going to get like a duster from the kitchen, and then I'm going to start giving it a clean and some air dusting. Okay, so got the microfiber cloth from the kitchen. I'm going to give this a good clean inside and out. You can already notice the difference there. I didn't think it'd be able to get this bad inside here. I generally clean, I used to clean it out of an air duster and never even thought it'd get this bad. The fan is filthy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna give everything a good clean, and then I'll air dust it all out. Oh, that's a lot better. Let's put that to one side for a minute. There's the lens there. I don't really want to take that out, but I think there's quite a lot of dust on it.
that was lovely. Okay, all right. So we're getting this slowly. Really wish I could take this bit out. You know what, on this far end I might as well do it. There's no point in just doing half a job with it. Just in case that is the bit that's um, dusty and I'll put it all back together and I still get the same marks. I should, once I take these two screws out, to be able to take it apart, take it out. There we go. So again, that's like a, it's called like a Fresnel lens. So I've got to remember how I took that out. Okay. So again, it's quite You don't realise how bad stuff gets. So that's the right way. So if I clip that back in, there we go. Okay, so now there's a little bracket in here I have to push back over the edge of that lens. Sorry if my hands are in the way, it's quite fiddly this bit. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put one of the screws in first and then um, hopefully it gives me enough of a swing with it without that bracket coming loose. Okay, so now it's still not clean. What I do is I'm going to get some kind of polish on that to kind of clean that properly. So hold there. Okay, so what I've done now is I've just gone out to the kitchen to get some normal furniture polish because I think this will be alright on here. Just to kind of give it that extra clean because it is filthy. No matter what way you look at it, there's loads of marks. Okay, because this has got, in theory, loads of little circles on it. You've kind of got to polish it in a very... You've kind of got to go with the groove, because otherwise... You leave polish all in the grooves. So you've kind of got to go round in the circle. To be honest, if you lay it down like that, your fingers actually kind of move in the way of the circle anyway because of the way the cloth grips. Okay, it's looking much better. Okay, now let's go for the other side. This side's flat, so it doesn't really matter what way you kind of clean it. Uh, 
that's quite much better. Just do a couple of little marks on here. Okay. So now the fun bit, I'm trying to get it back in. What I've done is kind of left that bracket in now. Let's see if I can might be able to see it better there. So I'll show you just in there, the bracket there where these little lugs on the end have to fit into. There's one either side and Getting it in both sides and in the little holding bracket, it's quite tough, there we go. Okay, so I recommend putting in one of the screws first on the side bracket. And then you'll be able to get that in there, there we go. Do that up. Okay, that's clean. Another blast of there. So I presume this is the light. This is the screen. Yeah, which does which is dust free, which is perfect. So this must be the screen connector to the main PCB. And then you've got your fresnel lens, your mirror that diverts off to one side. Which I'm going to give that a blast with the polish as well, to be honest. Because it's not going to hurt, is it? So these kind of projectors are good. Um, to what kind of watch basic films on. Even like, I found myself watching football on it more often than not. Um, I wouldn't recommend playing computer games on it because although it says it's 1080p, it's actually native resolution is like 640 by 480 so it can be a bit pixelated but oh, I've polished the wrong side of this thinking of it came out like that so this side <laughs> That's all right. Takes a couple of seconds. It's straightforward, isn't it? Although I honestly thought I'd broken it when I took it out, and there was that section missing off the side. I think they just designed it like that because that's the only way it can fit. So it is. Once I get to the stage where I'm going to put it all back together, I'm going to give it another blast of air. Some of the crap that came out of it was mental. My table is filthy. Just to kind of get rid of all the little loose fibres and stuff. Okay, so that goes back together in there. Okay. So I would say we're pretty much back together on that side. Okay, right. It's going to blast the PCB. Okay, so now we're all cleaned, um, we're just going to put it back together. So, from memory, this shield goes on, we'll blast that with air, get rid of all the crap off of it. It's on the outside, look at that, it's filthy. I suppose the one good thing about making a video is you're tearing something down. You can always watch it to go back if you can't remember how it goes back together. So there we go, it's our four there. Those are the little silver ones.
Okay, so that's those. So now we're going to put on the main board. So again, we're just going to plug the plugs in where we took them out from, making sure they're all correctly installed. That one is. That one's in. Okay, let's go for the speaker one. Speaker one's in. Keep the display cable out of the way. And mount the board back in the hardware, keeping all the wires out of the way. There we go. That looks pretty much in. All the screw holes line up. All the wires will be out of the way. There we go, that's out of the way. Okay, I'm going to put this main board back in first and then I'm going to mount the cable for the display adapter. Okay, that's all in. Make sure that the clip's undone. Feed the ribbon in nicely. And clip. Okay, that's seated in perfectly. Let's give this a bit of a dust. something. I've got the lens cap that has to go on in that little cap there to hold it in place. Okay, so now it's just a matter of putting the screws back in and then fingers crossed hoping that it works. And it's always a good sign when you get to the end of one of these and you've not got any screws or any bits left over. Which I'm pretty sure, looking at what I've got on the table, I haven't. One more. Should be that one at the front next to the lens. So as you can see from the table, it's covered in bits. And that was all out of the projector and there's loads under the tripod as well. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go into the other room, plug it in and see how it works. So I'll just put my SD card back in the back of it. I used to connect Apple TV up to this through the HDMI. Um, it worked really well. Um, but you can use it on USB, HDMI and SD card. Um, I think you've got audio in and audio out on this side as well. But yeah, it does look, does work quite well and it does the job, so let's go and see if it works. So as you can see, it works fine. The batteries in my remote are dying a little bit, so you have to bear with me. I think it's a lot brighter in person than it is on the screen, or is on the camera, so I've just mounted it quite poorly but yeah it works well that's I would say a six foot corner to corner screen so I mean it's not the best quality if you come up quite close it does look a bit pixelated you can see the individual pixels but for 30 quid can't moan anyway guys thanks very much for watching um, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. We're also on Instagram, so come over and follow us on there. You get some like little hints of our next projects that we're doing. 
and little clues of our next videos. Thanks very much for watching guys. Cheers.